All right, so what we're going to do today is, if you notice, I have 18 terabytes in my array, and I only have a terabyte left of free space, so we're going to do something about that. So what I have is I have these um, 18 terabyte drives, like right here, so I got two, and then I got um, three, like right here, so three total, Sorry. and then... <clears throat> I'm going to put them in my machine, but what I want to do is I want to make sure that I don't lose parity. So realistically, I could stop this parity drive, throw the two 18 terabyte drives in there, and the parity will just have to rebuild itself. But in this situation, I don't want to lose parity, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one of my 18 terabyte drives in, and that way I don't lose parity and then it will read my other 18 terabytes, get that into parity. And then <clears throat> um, I'll probably end this video there um, after I show you how to do that. And then I'll probably create a second video just to show you how to replace a parity drive and both of those are full. So let's go ahead and get started. So to do that, I'm gonna take down one of these 18 terabyte drives and throw it in my machine and I'll be back. All right, so here's the machine. Here's my drive, and I'm just going to throw that in there. Make sure it's in. Close it up. And we'll go back upstairs, back down right. All right, so I put the drive in, and um, so <clears throat> what I need to do is to come down here and hit stop. And I'm gonna stop the array. <coughs> Once the array is stopped, all right, so now the array is stopped. If we go down here, we can see that 18 terabyte drive is right there. And um, if we scroll down, um, we can see that it's right here as well. So what we're gonna end up doing is again, I wanna keep my uh, parity. So I'm just going to go ahead and sign that to my 18 terabyte drive and it's going to say that all existing data in this dice device will be overridden, which we're fine with that. <coughs> so all we got to do is to go down here. All right, so here we have a problem. Um, there's too many attached devices, so I have to update my registry for my um, app because <coughs> I don't have the um, I just have the basic on this machine. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade. So be right back. All right, so you see that I upgraded to the um, Pro <clears throat> just because I don't want to mess with um, having drive space or how many disks drives I can have in the future. Uh, <clears throat> if you if you have the, you only need to do this if um, you run out the amount of disk that you have available on your Unraid license. So now that we have the number of drives properly in here, so I'll just make sure the 18. And down here, you notice I can hit start now because I upgraded my registration. You may not have to do this because you may have the number of disks that you have. Because if you remember, Unraid has so many um, drives per type of license, and there's three different types of license you can buy. I just went ahead and upgraded to the Pro because I'm going to put more disk drives in here in the future, and I don't want to mess with it, so I just went with the unlimited license. So now that everything's added, we just hit start here. And the array is going to start back up. All right. So as you can see up here that we have the data rebuild started on the 18 terabyte drive. And then the parity 2 is being reconstructed and available for normal like operations. So we go over here. Um, it's invalid right now because we're still building out that parity. So when we're done, what's going to happen is that's going to be green, and then I know that um, I'm protected with this 18 terabyte drive. And in the future, what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace this 10 terabyte with the 18 terabyte, but I want to make sure that my parity is all protected before I do that. Yeah, and you can see that those parity disks is going to take a while because it's going to take one day, 16 hours, and you know some odd minutes. So um, we'll just have to wait, I guess. All right, so we can tell that our parity drive is done. So if we look up here, it's the data's rebuild and Unraid parity 
two on his return to normal operations. And you can tell that because it's green. So now we know that this 18 terabyte drive is our parity drive. And then um, this 10 is still the parity. So our rate's protected for two drive failures. Uh, <clears throat> so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to end this video, but I'm going to come back and show you how to replace this parity drive. Um, all right. Well, that's it.